harder. Okay, so I have to choose one that's not locked, obviously. <laughs> Let's choose an American one where there's actually someone there. You're just gonna show her that you're never getting uh, tea gameplay when you're using the uh, character creation. Creation. Okay. Final uh, quality. That's true. Here we go, Junko. Character creation. Well, there goes all my iron. Yeah, damn these restart. And Junko. And Junko, since you're female, we'll do a female characterization for you. So, so let's start off with the uh, the body features. It's gonna make you super short or super tall. And all kinds of other features. Let's see him. I put it on my phone on the schedule. So it uh, makes a little sound five minutes before server is starting every day. Alright. It's a good thing. That's what I can do. Instead of complaining about the restarts, I can find a solution how to remember them. Uh, of course, I also died. I She's asking, does question. character height help evade? No, I, I didn't die. It was just like um, my iron that I had on I don't me think so. were in one of the boxes. Junko, but it probably what will in the future. We've got to remember this is alpha, so things that don't matter now probably will matter then. He was asking if the if the character's length or height will avoid stuff or whatever it is. Yeah, oh. evade. Evade. And I'm Sorry. explaining that this is alpha. It doesn't really look at, like at this moment it does to me, but I'm sure it probably will in the future. Why Why wouldn't it be if they wanted it to be real realistic? The smaller dude you have, the harder the hit. Uh, I mean, you get a smaller hitbox, the smaller you are, right? Yeah, that's what I. I mean, ultimately, that's the way all of them should be if they're trying to be realistic. But it just doesn't seem like it uh, visually right now. But I'm sure it probably will make more of a difference later. Just like it didn't really seem like it in EU either. But now, after playing for years, I can tell the difference. I I don't feel any reason why you're you need to explain all this it's beta or alpha doesn't matter which one means the same to me so yeah. basically anything can change before the finished product so basically if people want to buy this game uh, I mean no one knows how it's gonna look like in the end exactly as I true. said as I said yesterday, the day before, this is not my kind of game at all. Uh, I got a key from BB, wanted me to play. I tried it out, and I'm fucking loving it. Oh yeah, for sure. So this, <clears throat> this is this, this is a pre-version. Anything can happen. You can lose your shit. You can glitch into a mountain. You can die randomly for no reason whatsoever. That's how. The beta well, remember, alpha versus this. Because of the stream, the only uh, terrible question is the unasked question. Because, you know, it, even though we're long, 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 long time gamers, uh, and we understand those things about it, we've been doing it for so long, we forget that the other people are still going to have those kinds of questions. So, the only um, silly yeah. question is the unanswered one. This game can take a few years for the finished product. I mean, look at DayZ. How long have that game been around? Yeah. Three, four years? For a long time. And oh, it's still one? on beta. DayZ. Oh, I haven't, I haven't even heard or played that one. I don't know. Uh, and that game is still in beta. 
So you never know how the game will look like, and you never know yeah! when the game will be, uh, be finished. The gods. There's no law that says that a beta version can only be a beta version for two years. Items can only be random. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Junko, listen. Have you ever played an alpha version of a game? Girl, have you ever played alpha or beta? Because in the very beginning, it's always going to be more simplistic because their focus is not to uh, their focus in the beginning is not to uh, yeah okay so you haven't and that's okay um, in the very beginning things are gonna be a uh, hundred times more simplistic than when the game actually hits the market it's not about the character customization right now. It's it's about um, trying to work on the. Uh, it's about trying to work on the bugs and the aesthetics of the game. Um, you know, so what the game looks like now is probably going to be way off of what it looks like when the game actually hits the market. So you know. All these other, all you know, all these tiny little questions that you're asking. Not that they're bad questions, not at all. Like I always say, the only bad question is the only is, is the unanswered one. But you know, we shouldn't focus on these little questions right now. I mean, um, being an alpha tester uh, in a game like this is is uh, is a privilege. Is how I look at it. To me. It's a privilege to even have the opportunity to be an alpha tester because ultimately it's our suggestions and our gameplay that molds the game in the future. So it's almost like by saying, "Hey, you know," when you, and and this is something that you know the average gamer doesn't understand. Um, you know, when you when when you when someone tells you, "Hey, I was an alpha or a beta tester of that game." Um, there should be a higher level of respect for that person because it's them who molded the game. It's their feedback. It's their it's their screw ups. It's their suggestions. Um, these those are the people that uh, made the game what it would be later. That's why I've always felt disrespected when people didn't recognize or at least acknowledge hey wow you were a beta tester of Entropia Universe wow I love the game now so I can't even imagine what it was like back then um, you know that's that's a huge thing it's an honor it's a privilege to be able to be an alpha or a beta tester uh, you know not everybody gets that opportunity for one and they can't they they could easily uh, you know if you've been a troublemaker or tried to screw things up they could easily turn you your account down for becoming an alpha or a beta and make you pay the for the full price when the when the game is fully ready to rock for for the public you know so it is an honor and a privilege to be part of the alpha and those types of aesthetic uh, questions um, wouldn't be where I would place your focus. You know what I mean? And no, this game is not real cash. It's not. And actually, um, that's partly why I enjoy it. One. For two, it's an alpha. <laughs> Anytime I get invited or an opportunity to play an alpha, I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm going to put my all into it because I'd like to, you know, when I when I find um, um, 
you know, interest in something, um, I want to put my all into so, it. So I have, I have it. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm talking with the, the viewers yeah, here. Yeah, okay. I'm explaining yeah, no to problem. them that, you know, these uh, static questions aren't really where their focus should be. Just to be part of an alpha or a beta is not only an honor, but a privilege. So, um, you know, let's not focus on the aesthetics right this second. Um, if you want to be part of an alpha tester, then those questions shouldn't matter to you uh, right now. Because the game is not going to look the same when it's released to the public as it does today. So, you know, those, aren't, those questions aren't as important. But that's pretty much the long and the short of what I was explaining. <laughs> but yeah, I was going through showing her what all the female uh, things are, and she was saying, well, you know, is it completely random when custom customizing? And I'm, and that's what I went into that spiel that yeah, right now it is, and Death is coming. I'm sure that that's probably not what it's going to look like when it re is released to the market. So we shouldn't focus on that. Um, we could focus on that kind of stuff all day rather than me playing and showing you. Uh, other features but uh, you don't need to have complete random randomization yes no we can do it totally free how you want to do it oh really you just oh I see it yeah, okay you just press. I didn't I didn't uh, when I uh oh sh created my a character I didn't do that I didn't click on them all I did was push on the arrows <laughs> How do you arrow. think we have big, big wieners? Ah, oh, had no idea. Otherwise, you start with a uh, like a medium-sized. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess I'm a medium-sized guy, <laughs> unless I want to recreate my character. I didn't pick my religion. I didn't. I didn't do any real customization. I picked random stuff. Well, that sucks. And no one blame you. I should have. Uh, played with it a little bit more. Well, this starts to be some. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's that goes to show that I didn't learn while I was going through, but. Um, now they could see that there is complete customization in the uh, character create creation. So that's good. Yeah, we could. We could start all over. Everyone. Starting over at zero. No. And, work and working our asses up there. No? No. <laughs> uh, I, would, I would easily do it again. Yeah, but you have been playing this for long. I've been playing this for three days. Yeah. Still an alpha, man. Ditto. Still an alpha. Yeah, That's what I want to see what this... No, you can't say that I've been playing this game. Because it's not a game yet. Well, the true question is, is, uh, is it going to matter how far we got when it's released to the public, or are they going to wipe everybody? Last wipe we did was uh, we had the server up for six months without the wipe. Can you imagine how it looked on the server? Oh, I'm sure it probably looked rough. But my point is, though, is oh, when everyone, everyone thinks so. But it it's, looks pretty cool. Uh, I mean, old buildings uh, disappear. The environment uh, breaks them breaks them down. If you're not on the server for 15 days, the server starts to eat up your bases. I got what you're saying, but what I'm what I'm trying to get at is. When this does get released to the public, are we all going to have to start back fresh again? It has nothing to do with the, with the gaming company at all. It's it's up to the server, server owners. Oh, really? Okay. So, because see, most, most times I've alpha or beta tested uh, anything. Uh, once the final release of the game to the public is finished, then everybody get everybody's account gets wiped, and we all have to start all over again. So, you know, how far you got during the alpha or the beta isn't going to matter. <laughs> no, they're going to do that a couple of times because yeah, latest latest update they uh, they asked uh, 